Hey, we're looking at the Samsung four-way ceiling cassette. I had a drain issue and I had to remove a few panels to get to the pump. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through how to do that. And we're gonna look at the problem area and I'm gonna talk you through my experience and what happened. And then after, I'm gonna show you a video. So let's get started. So these panels that I had to take off uh, was the fascia panel. Fascia panel has uh, two hooks on each side. Also has four screws in the corner panels. You gotta take the corner panels off. Uh, with your hand, uh, but you take the facial panel off which contains the filter then you also take uh, the bell mouth or fan guard off and then you take the control box off you've got to have a couple plugs that have to be taken for, off um, from the fascia panel to the control box that PCB there and then you also have a couple plugs uh, for your um, indoor motor your pump you got to take that off to get that actual control box and board off of the indoor unit so let's go to the next slide next slide has the uh, drain plug and this plug right here is connected to the drain pan if you take the plug off uh, you're going to be able to suck the water out of the drain pan and that's something you're going to have to do before you take that drain pan down drain pan's got four screws in it and they're at each corner uh, you, you got a Phillips, you can take that off real quick. And then once you get that taken off, you got your, you got your, uh, your motor. So taking a look at these slides, you get to familiarize yourself with the different components and the setup of this four-way cassette. We're going to look a little bit closer into the pump and where it's located. So look at that there. That's the pump. And the pump has got two screws holding it in. They're Phillips screws. It's got, it just sets in the pan. So when it, the pan fills up with water, uh, that actuates the float switch. Uh, but the pump stays on, pumps the water out. It's also got a tube that goes to that pump. You can see the tube there. It's got a wire tie that holds it on. You're going to take that uh, little rubber tube off and you're going to just basically suck that out with a vacuum. There's a check valve right after that tube um, that stops any of the sediment uh, from going any further. So you definitely have to uh, get whatever's in there out so that your pump is able to push the water through on down into the drain. So these pictures are the pump, the pump removed. I hope you enjoyed this. Plug and pull it out. Look at there, woo, look at that plug, man. That's a pretty plug. Anyways, anybody didn't know where a, the drain port is on the cassette here, that's where it's at if your drain pan's plug. That right there is the filter, and that right there is the front fascia panel. You gotta take both of those off, and it's got a couple wires that plug into uh, looks like the uh, receiver there and uh, as you can see there's the blower motor and the board and all that good stuff but there's a plug there you can take that plug out just be careful you don't want to ruin somebody's floor get it all wet uh, that's a bad deal guys you don't want to get somebody's floor all wet I might want to get some more towels all right so this is a top view of the four-way cassette look at that top beautiful view it's got little four hanging brackets there that my unit uh, or my all threads running through and then it goes up to the the unit strut that i've got across the joists and that's how i hung this really easy got the drain there and look at that that right there is an air siphon you got to put that in the drain this thing has a built-in pump that pump inside runs off 12 volts and uh, it's got a little float switch uh, it's also got a little check valve after the pump and uh, you basically uh, have a little a hose clamp connected to a little piece that comes uh, standard when you get one of these cassettes that basically ties into the main drain line. I uh, just want to show you guys a top view. Um, you might have to insulate this box here if it's in an attic that's unconditioned. Now this is foamed so anytime you have a foam house you don't insulate the joist and the reason you don't do that is because this acts as a vent in the home. The air travels up and over through other parts of the house and uh see that but yeah might have to insulate this one doing a little bit of leaking i just um unstopped the drain uh, i showed you guys that in the video um anyways it's four-way cassette pretty cool